So, it's like two o'clock in the morning here in Malta. I'm here for THU, but since I have access to the Procreate 5 beta, I wanted to show you guys just like a little bit, and I'm gonna try to do some videos where I show you more of it, but I was just messing around with this, and it was super cool, and I was like, okay, let's uh, go ahead and do something just like really fast so that you can see this one part of it. Now, I don't know how much of this has been shown before, like at the Lightbox Expo and things like that, but I just tried it for the first time and thought it was super dope, so I wanted to show you guys. Hey gang. We're gonna try something a little new this time. Now, if my recording quality isn't so great, that's because I'm using my, my usual headphones, but I'm not like holding the mic and stuff. I've just sort of got it on naturally so that I can use both hands. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna need here because as you can see, this is Procreate, but this is not just normal, everyday, average 4.3 type Procreate. This is the beta for Procreate 5. Uh, which is super cool. I want to thank uh, Savage for giving me access to this. Um, I, I am at THU, so I'm going to try to get through some of these features over the next week, let's say. Um, but there's one that I wanted to get to right away because it's the one that I was like instantly excited about and I wanted to show you guys. Um, and it's the new brush editor. So let's quickly go here. So. Here's the turpentine brush. This is how I normally use it. This is, um, since this is the beta, it's a separate device, so I don't have like my usual brushes all saved sort of in the same section, but this is the turpentine brush I normally use. Let's go ahead and duplicate it really quickly and start working with it here. So the thing that just really blew me away, I mean, this whole thing, is awesome. It, it's just, it blew me away. Check this out. So first, the first thing I saw when I opened this up and I saw that sort of smeary thing on the right, I was like, oh, okay, cool. They, they sort of show you the stroke. Like that's pretty normal. But then, I mean, this all happened like a second. I thought through it. I was like, but why such a big area? Ooh, drawing pad. Ooh. And so I was like, oh, that's amazing. I get to try my brush over here, which is awesome. The same gestures work as well too, so you can do the three finger like circular motion to clear, which is great. So let's go ahead and just paint in a little bit of this, uh, a little bit of the turpentine brush here. Okay, actually let's, let's, let's keep it simple to start. Just do that, one little stroke like that. So I was like, oh, okay, well let's start messing with it. Check this out. Once you start sliding things, it actually changes what you've already done. You can increase the streamline and they show you what would have happened if it had applied some correction, the jitter, which by the way, this is crazy right here. This makes me wanna just keep this brush around for like some messy fun stuff. Look at that. Take that jitter and pull it back in, look at that. You can actually watch it go back to what it would be like. That is the absolute coolest thing. Adjusting fall off. So you can do that with all of the different aspects here. I haven't even really had time to play with this that much, um, but it's pretty incredible. So let's uh, let's exit out for now. Let's cancel. And you know we've talked about the fat pencil before, and some of you have tried to replicate the fat pencil based on my old videos and you have said that you some of you have said that you haven't been able to replicate it so let's just take a look at the fat pencil so as i've said before the fat pencil is just an altered technical pencil uh, in this canvas at its max size that's what this is this is just an a4 by the way okay actually let's go to black just so that it looks like because that's usually what i draw with right so there's, there's that. If we zoom in on it, that's what it looks like. So let's zoom out again. And let's go adjust that brush. Okay, cool. We've already got this, the stroke over to the right. We can just use the one that they have as a, uh, as a template. Actually, let's not do that. Let's draw a new one, just so that we, we know that this is impacting the one that we just drew. Streamline. Pull that in tighter. Okay, 
So what I usually tell people is the only thing that I did, by the way, I did not pre-demo this, so we're gonna sort of fly by the seat of our pants here. The only thing that I've ever said that I really changed with the fat pencil was I increased the maximum size. So let's see here, taper, we got pressure taper, and then shape, grain, rendering. Oh, so this is like wet edges and stuff like that and glaze and all that. Wet mix, which we can mess with all of this in a minute, but right now, like we're just trying to solve this uh, pencil problem, right? Color dynamics, which is new. We're not gonna need that right now. And dynamics. Apple pencil settings, which is crazy. Can I adjust this here? Yeah, so what happens then if I, I'm just kind of tilting my pencil around trying to, okay, we'll, we'll see exactly what that does later. I'm gonna put it back to nine just to try and keep everything. Okay, size. Is this gonna change things? No, because that's about the pressure that's happening with the Apple Pencil. And then properties, what does this say? Preview, smudge, maximum size, boom. Maximum size. Okay, let's just do that, let's say. And say save. Technical pencil. Cool. So now when we bring the pencil down in size, in other words, it looks like this looks like that looks like that and then we go maximum size Blah. I actually had a brush a while ago that I stopped using um, because the the fat pencil was enough for me and it was the fat pencil it was another pencil called fat pencil but it was like PHAT and what I did was I just went into here and I took the I did the properties here I know not properties where did we find yeah properties and I made the maximum size just like really fucking big like that so I was like, Bleh. and that was, of course, you know, if you want to get really messy with it, like in more traditional mediums, you might do this with like a, a marker and just sort of like get your, your forms in there. And then you would lower the opacity on that. And on a new layer with like, let's say much more detail, you would actually come in and say like, oh yeah, and this is a bad example because I never would have wasted my time with that first stage if all I'm doing is like a head and shoulders kind of thing, but um, but anyways, you get the point, I think, with the fat pencil. So this, this sort of shows how the fat pencil was created and what it is. And some people that I talked to who were having issues with it looking like how they wanted it to, like it not looking like the way mine did or something like that, uh, that was mostly a canvas resolution problem. So anyways, give him a creepy smile. Anyways, the point here though, the thing I wanted to share with you guys was just these changes with the brush creation. I mean, I there's like, this makes brush creation so much better. It's kind of ridiculous how much better. Oh, wait, did that Apple Pencil, wait, no, properties. No, okay, 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 cool, so this is, this is a different setting. Okay, I thought that maybe changing the uh, properties was like impacting other brushes because I didn't expect this brush to be so gigantic when it first came out. Um, but anyways, if you if you press lighter, of course you get a more elegant look to it. So, so I mean now just like look at this stuff. What we'll be able to figure out and and and, and do with this? It's pretty it's pretty crazy. Size. What are we gonna do here? Taper, look at this taper. The, the ability to, to control that taper that much. And then we adjust this so that we can see what that impact was. That's super cool. So I'm not gonna go through all of this right now. Actually, let's do, let's, can we test color dynamics right now? So hue, sure, hue, maximum, save. Let's see what this does. Because look at this, we've got these two buckets now. So does that mean it's going to, no. Hmm, how does this work? I'm trying to move my pencil around in ridiculous ways to try to get this to work. Can I get back here? Hue, saturation, stroke, color, jitter, stamp, color, jitter. Oh, color pressure. The that's probably, 
this going to do it for me? No. Okay, so anyways, I wanted to show this new brush thing to you. I obviously need to monkey around with it a lot more, but since I didn't have much time, I just wanted to share it a little bit. So this is gonna be a short one and we'll wrap it up for now, but I'm sure you're as excited as I am about this because this is pretty wild and pretty game changing for how, oh, there we go. Ooh. So lighter red, darker, nope, nope, not darker black. Oh, there we go, darker black. So dark, wait, what? <laughs> it's tied to tilt maybe? No, not tied to pressure. It's like tied to, oh, it's tied, no, it can't be just tied to the side of the canvas. Okay, anyways, this is like totally random at this point. Was it just jitter? Secondary, oh, j jitter. Oh my God. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out right now. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Let's adjust it. I should totally edit this video down, but I'm just gonna leave all my ramblings because I think it's pretty uh, important for you to see how I would actually go about making the brush. I would actually sit here like this and I would play with it and then I would tweak things unless I had a real specific goal and I would say like that's what I'm looking for. So right now, I mean, I'd have to tweak this to make it like super usable, but you can see with the, the brush pressure that if I'm really light, it's darker. And then as I go harder, it turns red and thicker because that's part of the brush settings as well. So that's kind of cool. Like, Mike. Look at that, and I can make it look like, like I'm like a vampire or something. Like, a big vampire fan with my blood and my black. Okay, anyways, this has gone on too long. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed getting a little bit of a sneak preview on this. Uh, I'm gonna play with it a lot more and start getting in a lot of other features, uh, like the animation feature, which uh, is super cool. Right there, you can see it down at the bottom pop in. So I'm gonna do more with that so that I can talk a lot more about it um, with you guys later. So uh, that's gonna be it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Cool, right?